it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. This video we are recreating the hair and makeup that I did for my wedding back in June. I thought this would be really fun because I know it's not really wedding season, but I'm a newlywed and I love to put my wedding dress back on. Like, don't judge me. That's it back there. And I do put it on sometimes. Well, I put it on once. Let's be honest. One time and I kind of wanted to just wear it around the house and my husband looked at me like I was crazy. So, I wanted to do some sort of like bridal makeup and hair. It's not really a tutorial because I'm not a makeup artist and I didn't do my own hair and makeup for my wedding. So this is just sort of like a recreation of my wedding day. So, what I'll do is we'll do makeup first and then we'll do hair. That's why it looks like this. And then as I'm doing it, I'll insert some photos from the wedding just to give y'all an idea of like what kind of day we had, how we planned our wedding, what the weather was like, all that good stuff. I'm also wearing the shirt that I wore on the wedding day to get ready. I had all of these made for my bridesmaids and for me, and they're just like big men's like oversized button up shirts and they had their initials on the pocket. Mine, you can't see because the sleeves are rolled. One side says I do and the other side says the date, which was June 11th, 2017. So to start off, I've already used my Matte Complete Comfort Cream. I've mentioned this in so many videos. This has helped to kind of alleviate my eczema on my eyelids. This is a holy grail. I use it every night, every single morning. And then I'm gonna go in with this Max Makeup Cher Moya Skin Specialty Face Primer. And this is green to hopefully kind of combat some of the redness that I have, because as you can tell, my skin is red. Now I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. Now, this is full coverage. Well, it's more like medium to full coverage. So we're gonna build it up, but on my wedding day, the makeup artist and hairdresser that I hired used airbrush makeup, and I was really, really happy with it. I mean, it was expensive because I paid for myself, and then I also paid for all my bridesmaids, my maid of honor, my mom, and then the flower girls. Um, they got their hair done. They didn't wear makeup because they're eight years old. Um, I just put a little bit of like, you know, mascara and blush on them and they loved it. So it was expensive, but it was 100% well worth it because everyone looked amazing and I loved it. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the wedding. We got married June 11th of this year. So where I live in Alabama, it's hella hot. So it was real hot outside. I think the high that day... I mean, it was, I'm sure it was in like the high 80s, and it had also rained earlier in the day. So the humidity here on any given day in the summer is probably at like 90% humidity. So I was so worried that all that hair and makeup work, and it would just melt off, and my curls would fall, and I would be miserable, like a hot, sweaty mess. But luckily... The rain stopped. I don't even know if it rained that day. I feel like my bridesmaids did such a great job of like keeping me occupied because they didn't want me to worry about anything. So I'm not even sure if it rained, to be completely honest. I mean, we woke up early. Hair and makeup started, I think at 7.30, though I was last. The hotel that we stayed in for hair and makeup, the hairdresser and makeup artist came to us. Um, was downtown, so it was like overlooking downtown and the bay, and it was just like... It was so pretty, and it was so peaceful, and it was a big enough room that a bunch of girls could hang out and not feel like you're on top of one another. Um, it had a separate bedroom and a separate living room so that we all set up and, like, got dressed in the living room and, like, did hair and makeup in there. And then there was a bedroom, too, if you needed, like, to change your clothes or, you know, to store your purse or whatever so that you didn't worry about, you know, people in and out and anything happening to your stuff. So, that was a great deal. The only thing I'll say, if you live in Mobile or if you want to Google it, we stayed at the Battle House Hotel. Um, so, the only thing, though, is, like, after the wedding, we, of course, me and my husband were super busy with guests and, you know, seeing people and all that stuff, so we didn't really get to eat. So, the caterer packed us a basket to take back to the hotel room, and it included, I mean, a little bit of everything from the menu, like the menu that we had for the wedding. It also included some cake because the only cake that we got to eat was during the part where we cut the cake and fed it to each other. So it included cake, food, a bottle of champagne. We also gave away Hershey Kisses. So it included like a little baggie of Hershey Kisses. Um, but the hotel 
Our room didn't have a microwave and I called down to try to get a microwave into our room so that we could eat some food because we hadn't eaten since who knows what time earlier that day. And they said that they didn't have microwaves. I was like, what do you mean you don't have a microwave? And I was trying to be nice and let them know like, hey, it's our wedding night. Like maybe you could make an exception and bring us a microwave. We haven't eaten all day. It's our wedding night, all that stuff. Nope, wouldn't do it. So we ended up eating like lukewarm food in bed, watching TV, but we had a great time. I mean, you know, everybody's wedding night is different. There's no rules. You do whatever you want to do. And we sat in bed and we ate food and hung out and then passed out. This is just the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. It's like a concealer and this is in the shade, I'm pretty sure it's the lightest shade. Oh, here it is, Fair 05. And I'm just putting this kind of in my T-zone. All right, back to wedding prep. So we got married at a place called Azalea Manor, downtown Mobile, Alabama, and it is beautiful. So it's indoor, outdoor. They have a courtyard out back, so if you wanted to do your ceremony out back, you can, or if you want to switch it up and do your reception out back, like, there's so many options. And we chose to do the ceremony out back in the courtyard and then kind of clear the way and have that transform into the dance floor and so we left all of the tables and the food and everything inside and then the dance floor was outside but we definitely wanted that option to be inside because it was so hot now I'm just gonna set my face with this your mineral Sweden transparent veil powder it's white it's hard to see because it's bright in here I know the one thing for my wedding that like because, you know, everybody does it. You diet going up to your wedding. I don't know if everybody does it, but I did. Like, you just watch what you eat because you want to feel good. You want to look good. You don't want anything to be too snug or uncomfortable or a stomach ache or, you know, anything like that. So, when the day came around, I mean, that day, my stomach ain't going to be affected. So, the one thing that I wanted to eat was pizza. And we got room service for lunch. So, thank God the hotel had pizza because I almost lost it. I was also sick that day. I had gone to urgent care the day before, or on a Friday, we got married on a Sunday. I had gone to urgent care because I didn't feel well, and everybody was like, you need to feel better. Urgent care did nothing for me. I think it was just nerves. I think I was nervous. I don't know why. I think because, okay, so everybody makes fun of me for this before that story. We're just going to go in with this wet and wild photo focus pressed powder all over the rest of the face. So people make fun of me, what well, my husband does especially, because I was on television for years and years. I worked in TV. That was my job. Every single day I woke up, got dressed, went to work, and talked in front of a camera, okay? But for some reason, on my wedding day, I was so nervous for all of the attention to be on me. I didn't want people to judge me. I wanted to look my best. So that kind of plays in part of me wanting to, you know, look my best on that day because... I didn't want to feel like people were judging me. Now I'm going to go in and contour a little bit. This is the Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty, Ibby, IB Beauty. I'm not sure how to say it, but I think I'm going to go in. We're going to probably do the lightest shade, this one right here, because I'm not really tan. My wedding day, I was super tan. I'll admit, I did go to the tanning bed. It's a terrible thing. Don't do it. Let me say this first, okay? I did 100%. I tried spray tans from two or three different places because I know that a spray tan is way better for you. Whoa. Dang, look at that. Because I know a spray tan is way better for you than artificial tan, you know, or even sitting in the sun. I get it. But for some reason, I could never get out of that, like, kind of orange zone. And I wanted to be more bronzed than orange. So, I did the tanning bed. I know terrible for me. I was probably going two to three times a week. So yeah, I don't recommend that. Anyway, but I was much tanner than I am now. Look at that contour though. Holy crap. Huh. I'm just going to put a little bit of that powder with a different brush up here. Now I'm going to go in with my OG Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So the look for the day for makeup, I did have a trial run for hair because I just have funky hair. Like I have a lot of hair and I wanted to be sure that the style that we both thought would look good on me actually would. And I'm so glad that I did because I had pictures after picture and I took it in of all these different hairstyles. Like, you know, not just Pinterest ones. They were hairstyles that she had actually done on Real Brides and, you know, posted to Instagram. So 
and yeah, I took all this stuff in, and I'm so glad I did because the styles that I thought would look great on me, no. That was a big fat no. So I'm really glad that we had the opportunity to do that trial run. I think that's really important. If you're getting married or you know you're engaged or you want to get married, whatever, it's really important to pay the extra money for the trial run because I would have been upset that morning going in and having hair and makeup that I didn't really care for. Next is blush. This is my one dollar. Dollar General Toast Blush. It's from LA Colors. I love this. I've talked about it and I even went and bought more because it's one dollar. This is like the perfect dark blush. It's almost like a burnt blush color and I love it. Now we didn't do anything too crazy for the makeup so the face is just very natural, very... I just wanted to look more like an enhancement of myself. I didn't want to do anything crazy like no crazy winged liner or anything. I did want lashes, so we did lashes, but I didn't do anything crazy. I think that's it for the face. Before we move on to the eyes, I'm going to set my face with this Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. Just a few little pumps. My colors for the wedding were black, champagne, and blush. And then of course we threw in white. Now through the decorating and like planning process, there ended up being a lot more white. And I'm really happy with that because it was summertime. I didn't want anything too dark. And my thought process while planning was the wedding was at 6 p.m. So it was at night. So I thought that we could make it darker and like more romantic. But I'm really glad that we ended up doing it the other way. I'm just using this Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette. This came in a boxing charm. It's got some really great colors. So we're going to use these down here at the bottom to kind of set the eyelid. We'll use some dark browns in the crease, like in the corners, but we're going to do like a light pink too. Okay, so I'm glad that it turned out the way that it did. So we had white tablecloths on these like huge round tables that sat, I think, eight or ten people. And then we had gold and white shivari chairs at each table. At our table, we had a rose gold like sequence or shimmer runner that ended up being big enough for the whole table and it was beautiful. We had gold accents. We used hydrangeas that were white with light pink roses for the centerpieces. My bouquet I want to say was pink and white roses with like some little pink frilly stuff coming out of it. I don't know what it's called but it was beautiful. Bridesmaids were beautiful. They wore light pink dresses. They all wore different dresses because they all have such different personalities. I didn't want one dress for all of them because they have such different body types. I wanted a dress that fit each of them well and accentuated their best features. And plus, they're buying that dress anyways. I mean, those dresses are like three, $400. So if you're about to buy a dress for that much money, you want to like it or at least be happy with it. I mean, it may not be your favorite color, but at least the style is something that looks good on you. So we went to a couple of places, but ended up using a place called Bella Bridesmaids in Mobile. And I know that they're a franchise because, you know, just doing all my research, I realized that. So if you're looking for bridesmaids dresses, Bella Bridesmaids was amazing. It was like a cute little, like a boutique type shop, but they also carried all sorts of sizes. So they carried everything from a zero to, I mean, they could order you a size 30 in women's if you needed. You know, as long as the maker of that dress, you know, made it in that size, then you could order it. So that was a plus because, like I said, everybody was a little bit different, and I wanted to have options for everyone. All right, so that we just kind of laid down a little bit of color in the crease to give us some color. Now I'm going to go in and start darkening up that corner because I want a little bit of dimension there. I do think that if you're doing your own hair and makeup or your own makeup, at least for the wedding, that Wet n Wild foundation, I really like it. But I've realized since using it in the summertime and then now where I'm lighter, that the lighter colors, like the lighter shades of it, are a little bit harder to blend. Me and my friend Abby, you know, you know Abby. We were talking about that the other day that, you know, the darker shades, like in the summertime when I was super tan, blended so well and they were so creamy and for some reason these lighter shades don't blend as well don't get me wrong i still like it but just so you know i want to mention too sorry if it looks creepy back there but the hallway light is on you just can't tell but the dog and cat are in and out and this video is going to take me a long time and i didn't want them to just beat at the door the whole time i think i'm going to go in and do a little bit more just right here 
because it wasn't nighttime the wedding and I did want to look a little more smoky but like a natural smoky. I'll link to below the hair salon where the hairdresser works that did my hair and makeup for the wedding. She did my hair for a while too so I'll link it down below that way if you do live in the Mobile area and you need somebody she does great for for anything. We have Mardi Gras here. She does proms. She does pageants. She does all sorts of stuff and she's really really talented and I love airbrush makeup like the appeal was just like it's not going to smudge off it's going to be there like it's not going anywhere and that's what I really liked because I was so afraid that I was just going to sweat my whole face off. That's good for me. Now I need to go in with like maybe a little bit lighter shade. So I have this Ofra little Z palette and I think I'm just going to use maybe this shade right here. This is more of like a blush. This down here to me is a little too purple pink. So I'm going to use this one and just put that on the eyelid and we'll see how it goes. If it looks terrible and it doesn't match or give me the feel that I had on my wedding day, we'll do something else. I think I am going to take a little bit more of that other shade and just put it on top because this is kind of looking a little frosty. All the pictures that you're seeing too, we had the best, 100% by far, the best photography team that I have like ever encountered. Not that I've encountered a lot of them, but what I'm saying is that they were professional, but they were young, so they like understood what we wanted. And they just did like the outcome, like you're seeing the pictures. I mean, they're freaking amazing. Like the quality of the picture and the Photoshop that they did and just like the, the color change and they changed it for the better, but didn't do anything that I wouldn't have been happy with. You know, like they did everything to benefit me and to make me look better. And I appreciate that. I remember texting her afterwards and being like, maybe it was for engagement pictures. I don't remember because she did both. Her and her husband, our team, she did our engagement pictures. Her and her husband did our wedding. And I remember texting her and being like, girl, you're amazing at Photoshop. Like, thank you so much because it was engagement pictures. Because that day that we had engagement pictures, I had like a huge breakout on my face. And I was, I tried to cover it up with makeup. I was so worried that you'd be able to see it like, yeah, you cover it up with makeup, but you still get that like elevation on your face. Like you can still tell that there's something there. And I was so worried that you'd be able to see it and it was gone. Like I didn't even have to ask her to remove it. It was just gone. Okay, before we move on to lashes, I'm gonna put a little bit of color underneath my eyes, like on my lower lash line because I want to bring a little bit of color down there. All right, that looks about right to me. All right, I'm going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I'm using this Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara in black. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on. These are the My Lash Faux Mink Lashes I got from TJ Maxx. So we're going to do all that, and then I'll be back. These lashes definitely didn't work, so I had to go with like the OG I don't even know what they are. The glue is still drying. That that was miserable. That was like 20 minutes of me legitimately trying. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is just a, I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. Winky, Winky Lux. I got this in a boxy charm. It's like a universal eyebrow shade, which made me nervous, but uh, it works. So, and I really like it. It's like a perfect, like ashy blonde color. Not really blonde, I guess. More of like a dark, a dark blonde. Yeah, like a dirty blonde. Look at that. Look how easy that was. Done. And then, you know we're going to do highlighter because I'm addicted to highlighter. I've said it so many times. I love highlighter. It was funny, too, because that day Joni put a bunch of highlighter on me and then, like, caught me in the corner putting more on. And she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I need to glow. I need to glow to the gods above, like I need everyone to see me. And she was like, no, you look beautiful, stop. So that's how serious my problem is. It just pulls it all together, in my opinion, anyways. See, doesn't it? Just looks so dang pretty. Now we're going to move on to lips. I do have the exact lip color that I used. I tested out this Lip Sense color in Goddess for probably the week before the wedding. A friend of mine sells it and she always talks about it so I wanted to try it because it's long wearing, doesn't smudge, all that stuff. So I felt like it would be perfect for the wedding. So I'll link that video above or below or somewhere so that you can see me trying it out for a couple days and I did end up using it for the wedding. This is the Ofra Lip Liner in Spicy. Now I am going to go in with a little bit of chapstick just because my lips are extra dry and I don't want them to look cracked. 
so don't judge me I know you're not supposed to do that for lip scents I understand but you know all right we're gonna put this bad boy on and I'm telling you where you put this is where it stays and I think that's what I really loved about it was it's not gonna go anywhere and I was gonna be laughing and talking and kissing and you know speaking to everyone and I didn't want to have like that awkward only lip liner on so I thought that this was a great thing for me to try now it comes off a lot darker on camera than it actually is in person once that's dry you're gonna go in with the moisturizing gloss now this kind of locks everything in but if you don't want it to be glossy you can just wipe this off and I kind of use this throughout the day as a substitute for my chapstick because I learned through that video through testing lip scents for the week before the wedding that you cannot use chapstick it will rip it off one more spritz of this Project Beauty Makeup Setting Spray. And the makeup is done. Alright y'all, it is time for hair. This isn't going to take near as long because I did something extremely simple. So what I'm going to do first is just brush it out and then put some dry shampoo in. I'm using this Batiste Dry Shampoo Plus with the hint a beautiful brunette. This is the first time in my life that I've actually used brunette dry shampoo. And I don't know how I feel about it. I like it, but like whenever I go to like run my fingers through my hair or like itch my scalp, it comes off like a brown tint. So, you know. Also, a girl at work um, has black hair naturally, and she bought the, I don't even know what it's called, the dark, dark one. And she was like, it still comes off with a gray or like a white cast. So just know that if you have dark hair. All right, so what we're going to do is just go through and curl everything. Now, Joni used a wand, so the final product when she did it would definitely last it a lot longer than this would. But, you know, if you're doing your hair and makeup yourself and you don't got all the money in the world then this is a great alternative. Make sure your hair is a little bit dirty. I know that sounds gross, but freshly washed hair is not going to hold like hair that has a little bit of oil in it. So be sure that your hair is a little dirty. Like today is Saturday and I washed my hair, I want to say Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night. So I kind of wish that like I would have hired a videographer for the wedding. At the last minute, me and my husband talked about it because, you know, video and videography is my job and I would have loved to have a video, but it was so last minute and the people that we were going to go with, I think were, I mean, it was like thousands of dollars to add at the last minute. So we just opted for pictures because we trusted Perry. The name of the photography business that we use, the couple, is Farlow Photography, F-A-R-L-O-W. I'll link it down below if you're in this area. They also travel if you're anywhere on the Gulf Coast or if you want to do like a traveling wedding to like the Bahamas. I'm sure they'd love for y'all to pay for them to go. So I'll link them down below if you're interested or even if you want to just look through her pictures, or their pictures I should say, um, because they do such a great job. So what I'm doing is wrapping it away from my face because that night I didn't want anything in my face. I knew it was going to be hot and so I didn't want anything that was going to make me like annoyed throughout the night, you know? Y'all seeing me in this shirt and this makeup and curls is like kind of giving me all the feels, like taking me back. I'm sweating already. I have the fan on too. Alright, so I'm going to do my whole head and then we'll be back. Alright, now that that's curled, I just put a bunch of hairspray in it. I use the Mystic Divine Creations Ultra Finishing Hairspray and Stronghold. This is like one of the few hairsprays that I found that will actually hold my hair in place. So we did something very simple and left this side down and kind of just pinned this one back. So that's what we're going to do. I didn't want the top of my ear showing and I've got my bobby pins ready. I'm so glad too that we did these trials because I would have never thought that my hair would have looked good like this because I would have ended up doing something up and I really like the way that my hair looks down. So I'm glad, I'm glad. That's all I have to say about that, I'm glad. I know I keep saying that, but I can't stress how important it is to do that trial run. Okay, then I'm just gonna take some hair and kind of try to cover 
those bobby pins. I think what was fun at the end, because I didn't see what the guys did while they got ready or anything, so I think it was fun to see at the very end, like when pictures came back, see them, you know, getting ready and having a good time and like doing their little bro thing that they do. All I'm going to do is spray some hairspray. Now, like I said before, when she did this, the curls were much tighter because she would pull out a piece, spray the heat protecting spray, spray some hairspray, and then curl. And then they said, like, I loved it. I loved everything about it. All right, y'all, I put the earrings on. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh. I had such a good time on my wedding day. Okay, that is a wrap on this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I can't stop looking at myself. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.